Joy Harjo. What a celebration. Joy is here. <laughs> First, I wish to introduce the circle of judges for this year's National Book Award in Poetry, an incredible uh, group of judges, and they include Mark Bibbins, Jericho Brown, <laughs> Katie Ford, and Tree Swenson. We makers of stories, poems, and readers of literature all need each other as we navigate the broken heart of this country. Poetry is truth-telling, the concise art of conscience, and the word magic of history and prophecy. We absolutely need poetry as we move forward from last Tuesday. Poetry carries the spirit of the people and is necessary at the doorways of transition and transformation. This award acknowledges the accomplishments of American poets who sing and speech us through to the other side. For six months, we have read, reread, discussed books, poems, words, and what matters and what continues to matter in the making of poetry. We have read nearly 300 books of poetry together. We found incredible poetry and some inc these incredible deserving finalists. The five finalists for the National Book Awards in Poetry are Borzetsky, The Performance of Being Human, Brooklyn Arts Press, Dove, <laughs> Rita Dove for Collected Poems, 1974 to 2004, W.W. W. Norton. <laughs> Peter Gizzi for Archeophonics, Wesleyan University Press. Jay Hopler, The Abridged History of Rainfall, McSweeney's. <laughs> Soma Sharif, Look, Grey Wolf Press. <laughs> this year's National Book Award goes to Daniel Burzetsky for the performance of being human.